dozens of startups here in Birmingham, Alabama, and every startup, whether you're in Birmingham or another city, is gonna need capital at some point, along with needing clients, first and foremost, to prove out your model so that you can raise that capital. And we thought, why can't we get some of the best startups right now that are trying to raise money in front of some of the most influential investors, executives here in Birmingham for a dinner where we can expose these executives, these investors, to these startups to help them get clients and raise money. So really fun to be intentional about cultivating the ecosystem that we're trying to create and continue to grow here in Birmingham so that startups can grow into established businesses that create jobs and scale their not only revenues and valuations, but their impact for the economy here in Birmingham. Thank you all for coming. I know everyone has very tight time commitment. And to start with, I'm going to introduce Yasmin of what? Again, my name is Yasmin Cavell. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Flow. And when I moved here 12 years ago, it was the best decision I ever made. Because women in the South love beauty. See, women these days, they're busy. They have kids, they have jobs. They don't have time to go to these multiple locations. And so we came up with the Glow app. The Glow app is an on-demand beauty app that services clients with hair, makeup, and spray tan um, by vetted beauty professionals in their area, in their homes, hotels, and offices. Without further ado, it's on Riggs. Hi, my name is Hassan Riggs, and I'm the founder and CEO at Smart Alto. And we make a text messaging robot that helps real estate agents respond to leads. Over the past four months, we've grown our revenue more than 50%. Five years ago, my wife and I welcomed our second daughter into the world. So needless to say, our lives were crazy and they were made more difficult by how hard it was to find babysitters for our kids. My name is Tommy Mayfield. I'm the founder and CEO of Wendy, a mobile app that makes it easy to find, book, and pay college babysitters. Really the driver for this event is we need startups. And we had three great ones tonight. Let's give them a hand again. All right, guys, I know you're busy, you got classes going on, you just finished spring ball, and so my job here is to leave you with something you can take and, and put into action. But the goal for today is for you to realize the platform that you have in this short period of time of what will be your entire life and how to leverage this platform so that you can use it in whatever you do next. I'm gonna talk to you about telling your story, doing it in context of Troy's story, and how I think it can help both your, your brand for Troy football and yourself throughout the rest of your life. We believe that you're already storytellers. We don't create storytellers. You each are already storytellers. We serve you. We exist because you each get a platform the second you put on that uniform individually. And we wanna help you get what you need to tell your story, which is content. You have the opportunity while you're here to continue on Instagram, Twitter, to tell your story of playing ball, tell your story off the field, in association with whatever you're about, whatever makes you tick. People want to find you when you make a big play. People want to find you when you do something that's on the national stage. And it's tough to find you, um, you know, when your username is underscore twice and then D9 point this, like use your name in your handle. So, that means that working together with Troy, more people can see the Troy football brand, can see each other in this room if we're all sharing content regularly on our individual accounts. You have an amazing media department that's here shooting video, shooting pictures all the time. So we want to deliver that content to you so that Troy as a brand can reach five times as many people and together you guys can grow your personal brands. DC trip, just had a great pitch uh, with uh, one of the players associations and heading to see Alabama football get their uh, award ceremony today with President Trump. Yes, that is the White House behind me. I'm on the South Lawn about to watch the Alabama Crimson Tide get their national championship 
honors from President Trump. Great trip to D.C. Heading now to Lexington for meetings with the University of Kentucky, a client of ours. Uh, I'm gonna head to Keeneland, take my father with me and meet some uh, new folks that Jim's worked with over the years in the NCAA. Great client meetings today with the University of Kentucky Athletics Program. Excited to have renewals going on with a lot of their sports. And uh, hey, when you're in Lexington, you've got to go to Keeneland. So uh, out at the horse race today with sports media mogul Jim Host and uh, some other folks from the NCAA and uh, really just making great connections and having an unbelievable experience more and more media on social media than ever before and that will only continue as time goes on. Even today, like all the content that's being shot, not only by your staff, but you could have an aggregated solution where it's a two-way street and you're inviting the people who are attending it to share their content into the same system for all the people you would identify as brand ambassadors to have access to it, to be able to share it on social and then measure the lift that's occurring. There you go. There you go, a little bit lower. Please give me a hand and help welcome Mr. Jim Cavill to the stage. So, really what I'm gonna talk about today is gonna be a tie between what I think I would want to hear and maybe tell my younger self personally. Um, it's been very hard for me to get myself to be less urgent and be more patient. What I've learned is that life happens in seasons. And if you're in a season right now where there's a harvest and everything is going really well, whatever that means for you, that may mean the opportunities here from Rotaract to serve your community. Um, it may mean you're making more money than you expected to at this point. It may mean you, you met somebody and you're in a relationship that you've always prayed for and wanted. Um, whatever that might be, just know that the harvest will soon turn back to farming. So as you live your life, think about how you can have empathy for other people and be intentional about finding people differently. If every person in this room did it, just think of the math. If every person in this room found eight people different than them and spent eight days over the next 365 hearing their story, finding out what they're about, finding out why they believe what they believe. Just this room, imagine what you could do in, in, in this city. And so think about how to have empathy, but also think about not letting your identity get caught up in your work and how you can instead let your work complement who you are and provide more opportunities for relationships that you can leave a lasting impact. We're recording. <laughs> you just use that. Um, you know, I mean, I just think this is uh, a great opportunity to reflect and think about all that's happened in the past half year. Uh, the docu series we've done, we're in episode eight now. I think does a great job of just showing the amazing blessing we've gotten continuously from God, starting with the launch of the company, the Alabama launch pad, $100,000 win, the product launch, the clients, the big time names and brands we're working with. Um, this is really exciting. And then, since then, just the new deals that have come our way, the roller coaster that I've dealt with and, and become more used to as an entrepreneur over the last 15 years, I think is something that I'm experiencing, especially in this business, with product market fit and figuring out who our client is, becoming more of a daily experiment and objective. And so just really excited about where this is gonna go. Really faithful that I don't know where it's gonna go, but God does. And really hopeful that we use the million dollar raise we just completed, our amazing investors, the team of 10 people that we brought on. So we're wrapping up this first season, this launch of the company that's happened over the past six months. And it's exciting to see where it goes. I wish I had the answers, but I don't. But I do have faith that one way or another, we're gonna make an impact with the dollars, product, team behind this brand. 